Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. I hope you guys are doing great today. In this video of Facebook marketing course, I'm going to teach you what are offline events in Facebook ads and how to create those offline events. Well, guys, if you know that Facebook is an online platform and it can track, it can easily track your uh, online assets like your website, your, your Facebook page, your, your Insta account, right? It can easily track those things. But Facebook offers you an option to track your offline stores data as well. How you can track those offline events? Basically, you can upload a manual data in Facebook that someone has purchased a product from your offline store or someone has visited your offline stores, right? So you can track all these things, all those activities which are happening on your offline store through Facebook as well. So the question is why Facebook need to track those users data as well? Because once you add those data, those users' email ID or those users' phone number, Facebook try to fetch those data and Facebook try to match if is there any profile with using those phone numbers or using those email IDs, right? If Facebook finds those profiles, Facebook promote your online asset like your website, your Facebook page to those profiles as well, right? So this is how you can convert your offline users to your online customers as well. So let's directly get into my Facebook ads account and learn more about this. So guys, as you can see right now, we are in our Facebook ads manager. Now, in order to add your offline store or offline sources first you have to go to events manager because in events manager you have to create an event basically you have to create an event tracker so that facebook can track what is happening on your offline store right so once you are in your events manager let it load properly you have to go to connect data sources, right? As you can see, I'm in my event manager. Now you have to go to connect data sources because we are going to connect one new data source, right? And that will be offline. As you can see, it is showing that connect your offline information and send activity that occurs in your store or anywhere that is not on the web. So select this one, hit the connect button. And here you have to accept all the terms and conditions, accept. And here you have to name this event, right? You have to name this offline event. So whatever the name you want, you can add it. Let's say I'm adding my offline data, right? Again, my I'm adding, here I'm adding demo, demo, and demo. Now hit the create button. And this offline source, data source has been created. Hit the next, okay. So which type of access you want to give? Basically, you can select those access here. So I'm giving full access right now. If you want, you can uh, customize your uh, access as well, right? After giving it, just hit the cross button and here you are into our data sources right now. Now, after refreshing the page, you'll be able to see this offline event like thing, right? Which I have created right now. So this is the offline event. I, I have named it my offline data. And once you click here, let me close this one. Obviously, you will be not able to see any data here, right? But the thing is how Facebook will get to know that uh, someone has purchased a product from your offline store or someone has visited your offline store. So basically, you have to do those things manually. Basically, you have to upload the data of those users using this upload event button. If you click on this, you will be able to see a window like this and here what you have to do you have to download the example cvs file and you have to fill in that cvs file and upload it here right and once you upload facebook facebook will fetch those data and facebook will try to find those profiles on facebook so that uh, facebook can use those profiles to do our marketing right so what do you have to do you have to download this example file as you can see example file has been downloaded go to this and if you open this, it will be looking like, uh, let me open. Yeah, it will be looking like this. All these are demo data. You have to replace this data with your original data, right? Now let me close this one and let's upload that demo data here. Select the CVS file, click on that button, select the file. I'm assuming that you have edited the file or you have properly entered the data in this CVS file and hit the open. Now, once you have uploaded the file, 
scroll a little bit up and click on this next map data so that it can map all the data which you have provided right now it is mapping the data here the data which you have provided although this is the total demo data but obviously you have to provide the original data right after this you have to hit the review button and start uploading and done it's uploaded your data has been uploaded you can close it and this is how you can connect your offline store with your Facebook's online data so that you can market those offline visitors, offline users as well. I hope you understood the process. I hope you like the process and I hope you like the video as well. Now you might ha have a question that how I can track those offline users, right? For that, you have to go to all tools and go to ads manager and in ads manager, just it will take a little bit time open your ad let me add any campaign open it i'm clicking on edit it is taking a bit more time uh, no issue let's directly go into ad level and yeah and in your ad level if you scroll a little bit down here you'll be able to see your offline events as you can see my offline data right so this is you'll be find this option in your ad level in your tracking option right so i hope you understood i hope Everything is cleared now. If you still have any question or query, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself. Also, I'll be meeting you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.